Hello guys, my name is Eva Landry and today it's time for part 2 of the Crazy Eye tutorial. I really wanted to try this new plugin by Feitech that is called Feitin. Unfortunately, the trial version doesn't allow all the options, so I'm going to make another review very soon. So for now we're going to use Mocha in After Effects instead. I'm simply going to open my clip in After Effects in a new composition. Select my clip, go in animation, track in Mocha RE, OK. And I'm just going to select my old face. And then I'm going to track forward. For something like this, I feel like it's better to just select the old face because the eyes move more, so it's going to give you fake data. It's better to just keep with something that is more stable. So I'm just going to pause it because I see that air get a little carried away. So I'm just going to place it back and here too, and those two little guys. I think it's better. I'm gonna go back here and continue the tracking forward. Now that my tracking is complete, I'm going to export the tracking data. I choose Position, Scale and Rotation, and I copy it to the clipboard. I go back in After Effects, I'm going to go in Layer, New, Null Object, and at the beginning of my composition, I will paste the information doing Ctrl and V on my PC. So now I have the background image, I'm going to duplicate it to be able to isolate the eyes. So I'm going to do Ctrl D to duplicate it. So I'm gonna rename it I1. Maybe. I'm gonna come closer with my little mouse button. I'm going to make a mask around this eye. I open it and just like we did in the last eye illusion tutorial, we're gonna increase the feather. This way it's going to blend better. I take my uh, selection tool and now um, I should be able to move it downwards like this. You can take the corner and press shift to retain the proportion, just like we did. And now that it's done, <laughs> wow, you're going to select this one and you will take the parenting tool and link it to the tracking information. So technically, now it should kind of work. Since uh, it's fairly the same thing as the other technique, I'm going to make it a still image by doing a freeze frame way one is going to move it's always going to remain the same so now I can go back in the sides and blend it better with the surrounding so because we tracked it now it should follow the face better okay, I'm going to duplicate this one and I'm going to place it under make it smaller like this so again it should follow the face and same thing for the other side, if you want to add some. If you want to do the same thing we did uh, as last time, I'm going to duplicate this one. Then I'm going to place it just a little bit on top here. And last time we played with the blending mode, so I will do the same thing here. And like you can play with uh, this, that spin light, we could do soft light. Oh, well, that's very subtle. You could transform yourself too. Let's see if we can find a PNG image of freckles. Chocolate freckles. Such pretty. Okay, so now we're gonna take this and we will link it to the tracking. So now it follows the face. Since it goes a little bit too far, you can make a mask for it too. Just like select the part you want and then you can go in mask, feather and you feather it. So we could add a more freckle on the other side too if you want. Take this freckle thing and I will flip it. And I'm going at the beginning of my composition and I'm going to parent it to the tracking data. I'll make a mask. I'll go in my mask settings and I expand the feather. And if you think that it's missing some, you can always take the selection tool and add a little bit more like this. So I guess we could see if I can find some cyborg I think. I import it in my After Effects project. Then I'm just going to flip it like this and I'm going to make a mask. Well, I always wanted to be seven of nine. She's like the best character of Star Trek. Now Data's the best with Spark. Again, we're gonna add a little tiny feather. So like five. And I'm gonna take the corner. <laughs> wow, so realistic. I'm gonna go at the beginning. And same thing we did before. I'm going to take the parenting tool and I'll parent it to my tracking. And you see that it increased in size because we have the scaling on too. So if you don't want that, you can always go in your tracking info 
and you can remove the scale trackings. I guess I'm gonna do my mouth. <laughs> Control D. I'm gonna do a mask. <laughs> do freeze the frame. Time, freeze frame. I'm going to link it to the tracking. I think it misses a little bit of feather. And here we go. Never look better. By the way, if you like the background, I'm using four packs of uh, Christmas gift paper. On top of it, I placed a curtain of light that I use for my wedding. Fairly easy to create for yourself. Let me know in the comment section what you would like to see next and I'll see you soon.